Hi, I'm Laura Ryder. I'm a certified professional dog trainer and today we are going to be talking about puppy sleeping through the night. Uh, so the first eight weeks puppy is obviously with mum and litter mates. So mum is there to provide lots of support and comfort and there's lots of warm bodies to curl up with. Uh, then what happens is that a really great breeder will have done some of the work for you and prepared puppy uh, for time alone. Uh, so from five to six weeks of age, uh, the breeder will give um, each of the puppies some daily alone time. What this means is they get a short little session with a positive association. So they might be on their own chewing on a yummy treat, they might be getting some delicious food, or they might be playing with a fun little toy on their own. So a great breeder can really help us uh, to prepare puppy for coming into our homes. Then when they do arrive with us, um, we need to start teaching them about how to sleep on their own and how to adjust to their new home. So first of all, things we can do are setting up that puppy sleeping area. Uh, so I suggest you do it ahead of time so you're well and truly prepared for when puppy comes home and a few things that we're going to need. Uh, so I highly recommend a puppy playpen, a nice comfy bed, and I also like a little crate in there as well. Uh, so it's a nice enclosed, safe little snuggly spot for them. Uh, an object that smells like mum, so make sure you ask the breeder for this. Uh, a really nice little one to help puppy adjust um, if they've got something that still reminds them of mum. An object that smells like you as well, uh, so they haven't bonded with you just yet, um, but that happens really quickly. So an old t-shirt or an old jumper um, popped into that crate is a nice, a nice little addition. Obviously a little water bowl, a little chewy treat and toy, and a little toilet area as well. Uh, now if you are interested in more toilet training tips, if you head to um, our other video about toilet training, um, we cover that in much more detail. Okay, so when puppy arrives home the first day, again we're setting them up and preparing them for what might happen obviously as, as the evening um, dawns on them. So all food is to be given in their sleeping area. Uh, and so you might do a little stuffed Kong. I love snuffle mats. So you might put some of their dry food in that and all of that is going to be in their sleeping area. So we're teaching positive associations. Uh, it might be a chewy treat, their toy, and also those daytime naps that puppies um, tend to have a lot of. Um, as they start to drift off to sleep, um, just gently transfer them to that sleeping area. So they've had a couple of experiences of having a sleep in that nice new little bedding area of theirs. Okay, then the first night. Uh, so there's two methods um, that are commonly used. Um, both come from um, training children. Uh, so first is cried out. Um, what happens is it actually creates more stress for a puppy if we just leave them to deal with it. Uh, and, they, and it appears to work. Uh, but what's actually happening is puppy is just going to what's called a state of learnt helplessness. So with this, puppy just shuts down and gives up. They're still really stressed, but they've given up trying. No one's coming to help them. Um, um, and I think that that really damages the trust and that initial bond that we're having with our new puppy. Uh, so instead, my suggestion what is called gradual withdrawal training. And again, this comes from uh, children. Uh, and so with gradual withdrawal training, what we are doing is that we're there to comfort and support puppy as they transition to their new sleeping arrangements. So over a period of approximately a week, we're going to move further and further away from puppy. So to start with, we're right there next to them, next to their little puppy playpen, and then we gradually move away so we can get back into our own bed. So what this does mean is that you're going to need a mattress on the floor uh, and you're going to sleep right next to puppy. Uh, so what happens here if puppy stirs in the middle of the night, maybe does a little bit of whining, they're a little bit unsure, um, you can just um, offer some little quiet reassuring words uh, and help them settle that way. Uh, and then as they get more comfortable in their new bedroom, then you can start um, over a period of a week starting to move that bed further and further away. Okay, so in summary, uh, the breeder can prepare puppies. So if you haven't got puppy yet, have a chat with breeder, see what they're doing um, and get them to help as much as they possibly can. Set up that sleeping area ahead of time. Um, avoid the cried out methods. It does increase stress um, and that's the last thing puppy needs when they're making that big adjustment into a new home. Instead, use gradual withdrawal training. So be there for puppy, help them, support them, and then just gradually move away um, as they settle more and more each night. 
Um, so set them up in that nice sleeping area, offer them that comfort and gradually move away. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Uh, happy training. Um, I have done this with all of my dogs. I've also recommended this for hundreds of clients. It works really, really well. Uh, so happy training um, and good luck.